There's a lot of pepper in it. It makes me <coughs> sneeze. <laughs> Welcome back for another cooking video, and today we're gonna be trying out a new recipe that I've heard people raving about. This recipe that I'm gonna be doing today is from The Meat Eater and Steve Rinella. I love watching the show. I found the recipe online. I'm like, you know what, I'll give it a go. So I don't wanna take any credit for coming up with this recipe. This is his recipe. I'm gonna just give it a try here and see how it turns out. I've got three Canada goose breasts that I've cleaned up, got the, all the junk cut off of them. I did make a video on how to do that and you guys should probably go check that out if you don't do that on your goose meat already. But I've got all the ingredients here and we're gonna make the uh, cure that we're gonna be curing these goose breasts with before we put them on the smoker later on. I feel like such a fancy cooking show doing this with all these separate bowls. But uh, here we got one quarter cup of tenderizer and then we have one quarter cup of black pepper, two tablespoons of granulated garlic, or if you don't have that, you can go ahead and just use one tablespoon of garlic powder. It does the same thing, we'll be using garlic powder today. Quarter cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of ground coriander, two teaspoons of onion powder, and two teaspoons of thyme. Meat tenderizer, black pepper, brown sugar, garlic powder, coriander, onion powder, and then we'll do two teaspoons of thyme. It's a quarter teaspoon or a half teaspoon, so there's half, one, one and a half, and two. So just mix that up here, and then we'll get to putting it on our meat. And now it's time to coat our breasts in this cure. Let's hope there's enough. And there we go. We've got all of the cure on our breasts and now we gotta let it sit in the fridge for three days, but every day I need to flip it. And that's because this cure is gonna be drawing moisture out of the meat and so that's gonna be accumulating and so flipping it is gonna be important. Now I've got some extra in here and what I think I'm gonna do is try and find maybe a plastic bag or some kind of container to keep that in so then I can use that the next time that I make this recipe. So. Uh, kind of thinking ahead here, I think it might be a good idea to make a batch of that stuff, like a big batch, if this turns out good. It only matters if it turns out good, is I make a big batch of that cure and the rub that we're going to be using later on, but um, make a big batch of that and save it to use throughout the season because then it's just one less thing. You can just grab that, sprinkle it on, throw it in the fridge and not have to worry about, oh, I need to go to the store and get all this stuff. So I'm thinking ahead here. In the fridge it goes for the next three days and hopefully it will all turn out to be delicious. It has been four days since we put the goose meat in the refrigerator and um, it looks like it did something. See all that juice that came out of it? We got the cure on there. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and just rinse all these off and put them in a bowl of water for the next 45 minutes. But today is smoking day. I'm excited. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it yesterday. The recipe says to take the meat out and rinse it and do all that stuff that we're doing right now three days after, but we had to do it four days just because of things coming up yesterday. So let's get these things rinsed off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but to me, it looks like the meat color itself has changed in that curing process. It's gone from like a, a bloody red to like jerky red. I don't know how to explain the color. It de The color has definitely changed. But we'll get these all rinsed out and chilling. Okay, these goose breasts chilled down in the water for 45 minutes. Now we gotta dry them off real quick and make our rub that we will be putting on them. Okay, now it's time to mix up our rub. In here we have three tablespoons of black pepper. 
and then we'll add one teaspoon of ground coriander and then one teaspoon of granulated garlic or half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of onion powder half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and then half a teaspoon of dried thyme and now we will just put the rub on our meat. Doesn't that look good? Now it's time to go out and smoke these things at 225 for about an hour and a half to three hours or until the internal temperature is 150 degrees. And on to the Traeger they go. See you guys later. It has been about an hour and a half now, so we'll go ahead and take a temperature. Smoker says 275 right now. That's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Yeah, we're not close there. Yeah, not quite there yet. We're getting there though. Let's see. They look pretty good. Bingo. Time to pull them off. Let's check the rest of them though. Oh yeah, we're way good there. Holy smokes. This guy's coming off. And this guy's coming off. Huh. We'll let him stay for a while. Now, we let these things rest for a little bit. And then we'll slice one open and give it a try. I can't say it looks super appetizing at this point. So let's slice into it and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there. The lighting in this kitchen is really bad, but hopefully you guys can kind of see the colors that this piece of meat's got on it. It's a very dark red color. And there is the final product of the goose pastrami. It's got this interesting color to it. It's like a, a gray, purple, red kind of color, but you can also tell that it was on a smoker. It's got a smoke ring on it. Let's give this a taste and see if it's all that it's cracked up to be. Whoa. Hey Lauren. Lauren. You need to come here. I'm fine. No. No, I'm fine. Are you busy? Lauren approved. This thing is delicious. It tastes a lot like jerky. And uh, it's just, it's got a very good peppery, smoky, kind of like a garlic pepper jerky flavor to it. It's really good. And I highly recommend you guys give it a try. I know some of you guys might not have a smoker, which that's kind of the key thing with this. But see if you can find somebody who has a smoker and give this a try because you will like it. I guarantee you. And the meat is so tender. I've never had goose meat turn out like that where you can just chew right through it really easily. I think I found my new favorite way to make goose meat. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. I might have gone a little heavy with the rub, but that's okay. It is what it is. I think I just made jerky without having to slice up the meat and do that whole jerky thing and dehydrating it. This is so good. I highly encourage you guys to give it a try. So I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. It was one that turned out really well and I'm really glad I tried this. I've heard so many people tell, tell me about goose pastrami and how you gotta try it, it's really good. 
finally did it. It was not very difficult at all. It just, it's time consuming from the sense of the start time to the end time. But the labor involved with it is pretty much nothing. It's worth all the work you put in and it tastes really good. And I'm kind of curious about trying it with duck meat and see how that turns out. But that's about it for today. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow, oh my God. There's a lot of pepper in it. It makes me <coughs> sneeze. Uh, I was sneezing a lot when cooking this. But you can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.